guys, I'm Maria and this is Julianne and we are aquatic speakers here at the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. Today we are in Stingray Bay here with the stingrays that we take care of um, and we just wanted to tell you a little bit about how they're doing since the zoo's been closed and how we take care of them. So social distancing can be more on any social animals. Our stingrays are used to their social housing environment but they were also really accustomed to their daily guest interactions. So with the guests away right now, we've been providing them with stingray socials, which is where a couple keepers can, at a time can come by, um, say hi to the stingrays, and even feed them, thus providing them with that additional attention that they've been missing out on. Um, as well as our stingray socials, we've also been giving them some extra enrichment items. Today they got their puzzle feeders. So we actually fill it up with some food. Um, today they got some cakelet in there and then we'll set it into the water and they knock it around and um, get the food out uh, for their enrichment. So some of the other enrichment items that we give them are foods that they can swim through, um, artificial kelp that they can explore, and uh, plants that we bury just underneath the surface of the sand. Um, and then they search around for that um, and eat it. And those, I think, are their favorites. So those types of enrichment that she was talking about are really great for their mental stimulation. We also do training sessions with these guys, and that's an additional um, mental stimulation for them as well. And that's really important because we want them to be really active and the best they can be. Um, there's two aspects to their well-being that we really look after. One is their mental capacity as well as their physical. So for their physical, we have daily routines um, that we do when we come into the pool like we are now. And while we're feeding individuals that have their own diet and cleaning, we're also looking at everybody's body condition. So we see and make sure that everybody looks good. And then if there's anything unusual or something uh, we haven't seen over the previous days, we'll make a note of it. And then we can also notify vet staff if we have to. Uh, we also have our monthly routines that we do, so one of them is checking their weight. So we make sure that these guys are getting enough amount of their diet and nutrition, and then we also can check their bars. Uh, we make sure that those guys are at a really nice length, that way they can't um, hurt anybody while they're interacting with these guys. Um, and then it also helps us get them used to us being more hands-on throughout all of those other uh, routines. behind us. It is pumping season and we do have several pregnant cow nose rays. Uh, so these pens are here we use as nurseries and they're set up right now for preparation for the arrival of the new pups. So once they are born we'll place them into the pens um, and that allows for their safety as they're getting used to their new environment as well as help us monitor them closely as they're developing. Thank you.